Hey everyone, Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and we have our second square in our Animal Square Crochet Along that I am hosting this year. This is our cute horse square, again, square number two. The first square was our adorable polar bear square, and I have a video tutorial on this one, as well as a pattern, and you can find the pattern for the horse on repeatcraftermy.com, but I wanted to pop on here and just show you a video tutorial of how to um, make this cute uh, horse come to life. So let's grab our Red Heart Super Saver yarn. This is color um, Cafe Latte. I use this one a lot, um, and we will be using these colors for other squares. You only need a little bit of little bit for each one. So um, one skein is going to take you very far in this crochet along project. So this one's color coffee. This is the dark brown. And then I have, I love this color too. This is buff beige. Uh, so we'll be using this one a lot. And then a little bit of white uh, for the stripe. And again, get creative. Use whatever colors uh, you prefer. Uh, you don't have to use these, but uh, I wanted to give you the exact shades I am using. So let's go ahead and start with the basic square. So we're going to grab the Cafe Latte yarn and you are going to start by, let's see if I can move this out of the way a little bit. Oh, and you're going to need your size H crochet hook. And how cute are these? I just noticed my little horse unicorn scissors. Uh, I think I got these on Amazon. I'll leave the link to those. You might want to, you know, coordinate your, supp your supplies uh, to your project. Anyway, so grab your Cafe Latte uh, worsted weight yarn, um, Red Heart Super Saver, my H hook. I'm just going to make a slip knot and then I'm going to chain 21. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, snagged it. Already, not off to a good start in my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Come on, yarn. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. Uh, your chain should be keep try and keep your crochet at a nice tension. Um, you know, not too loose and not too tight. You'll start to get used to it as you create more of these squares, uh, and they're so easy to do. You can always redo one if you need to. So in the second chain from hook, so I'm skipping that first chain right there, and I'm going into my second chain from hook. I'm going to make a single crochet, and then I'm just going to go ahead and single crochet in each chain down the line. And basically, when you get to the end here, you'll be off and running on your square. I also went over this, um, why this yarn doesn't want to come out. All right. I went over this, um, basic kind of how to make a crochet square in my first tutorial for the polar bear. Um, so you can go ahead and rewatch that as well. All right. So I'm just making these single crochets all the way down the line. And when you get to the end, you should have 20 single crochets. When you get to the end, it should look like this. You're gonna chain one, you're gonna turn your work, and then you're just gonna go ahead and make a single crochet in each stitch and just keep working in this manner until we get to 23 rows. And I'm giving you that number um, of 23 so it's 20 stitches across and it's gonna be 23 rows um, tall. And that's because with my tension and the way I'm crocheting, that equaled out to a square for me. So if you happen to notice after 23 uh, rows that yours isn't a square, and I encourage you to get out a ruler, um, go ahead and adjust it, do more or less rows uh, to make yours a square. Although be sure and um, have your border on there as well. So I think you guys get the idea. Came to the end, chain one turn, and you're just going to keep working. Okay. Until we have our square, which do, 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 I already have done. 
okay? Pretend like we fast forwarded there. So I have my 23 um, rows here. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna make a nice border because these are our rough edges and I want to be able to have a nice crochet border on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start by chaining two. This is gonna make our corner. And then I'm just gonna reach my hook around and I'm gonna start crocheting um, along the edge, just evenly. You can see my hook's just gonna go right into these little spots. You can see my fingernails poking through along the border. Try and make it as even as possible. Okay, let me bring my other, my other yarn over here. Okay, so I'm gonna start crocheting around and I'm only gonna be crocheting around three edges uh, because this one already looks nice here on top. That's a nice edge right there that I can easily crochet into. So I only need to do this around three edges. So here I'm coming up to a corner. Let's see here. So let's see, my corner. So I'm gonna chain two. I'm just gonna reach my hook around. And now we're gonna be working along that bottom edge. And basically here, I'm just working into those, the other side of those chain stitches. Okay, lost my place there for a second, but here we go. Let's see, I'm here at the corner, so I'm gonna chain two. Reach my hook around to this side. You can see there's that little corner. The corners will make more sense when we make our second little border with that other color. All right, so I'm just crocheting along this other rough edge like I did that first one, which is gonna bring me back to that nice top row where I am going to make a chain two for the last corner here. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna just chain two. We're gonna join, we're gonna be joining to that first single, single crochet there in that row, but I can fasten off this Cafe Latte Brown and we can join in our buff beige for a nice border here. And this is very simple. Okay, we're gonna just join that in, chain one, and you're just gonna go ahead and crochet in each of the stitches all the way around. And you're gonna be making two single crochets in each of the corner stitches. So here we are, just crochet, crocheting each stitch around. And again, maybe you want your border in a different color. Go ahead and do that, no pressure. I'm just giving some suggestions. All right, I'm at my little chain two corner. I'm making those two single crochets and then just continuing into those stitches. And you will see how nice and even that looks now. Love the way those stitches look. All right, so let's keep going. I know I'm going pretty fast here, but I think you guys get the idea. It's just a basic single crochet when you get to those corners make those two single crochets in the corner and keep working your way around i also feel like these borders help um, flatten out your squares you'll notice they like to kind of curl up on you a little bit you can also block your corners or steam block them i've seen a uh, several people to do as well but basically when um 
even if they are curled, when we're done, we're gonna be joining all these into a big blanket. So uh, they're, it's, they're not, <laughs> when we join them, they're not gonna be curled no matter what. Okay. And sometimes it just takes a little bit of a, just stretching out to get it to lay flat as well. All right, I'm almost done here. We're gonna get going on these cute little face embellishments to make our horse. All right, two single crochets in that corner. I'm just gonna go ahead and join right to that first single crochet. And I'm gonna fasten off. And you are gonna wanna weave in these ends, okay? On that back corner. But I am not gonna take the time to do that right now because we are just gonna jump right into um, making this cute little face. So let's start with the, um, I guess, what'd you call this? The horse nose, the snout? I'm not sure exactly what that's called on a horse. I think the nose. All right, so we're grabbing our, our buff beige yarn. We're gonna go ahead and chain 10. So I'm making that slip knot on my hook. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, now we are going to double crochet in the third chain from hook. One, two, three. So we're gonna make a double crochet and then we're gonna make a double crochet um, in the next six. One, two, three. six and then we have it slipped off my hook we have one more chain at the end we are going to make four double crochets in that last chain two three and four we are going to turn we're going to work on the other side of our chain now we're going to go ahead and double crochet in the first seven Okay, where are we here? And we're gonna make four double crochets in the last. Two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And then in your last one, we are gonna go ahead and make one, two, three, four. We're gonna skip over that, that chain and we are gonna join. Here's our first double crochet. We're gonna to join to that. We're gonna chain one. We are going to single crochet in the first seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are going to make two single crochets in the next. We are going to make two half double crochets in the next. And then we're going to make two double, two double crochets in the next 11. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, So that was a, two double crochets and 11 stitches, which is a total of 22 double crochets there. We're gonna do two half double crochets in the next. 
and we're going to make two single crochets right here in our last stitch. This is just our joining chain. You don't have to worry about that. And we are going to go ahead and join. And we're going to fasten off. You might want to leave yourself a long tail because you're going to need that to stitch it on. Stitch the little snout on. All right, so let's see here. Pull this through. Probably didn't need it that long. We're going to go ahead and weave in this end on the back. And then we are going to grab a strand of the uh, our coffee brown, our dark brown yarn, to make the little nostrils. pretty good okay love it all right so I just want to make two little nostrils on here so I'm grabbing just a strand of this coffee brown yarn and uh, you can just kind of you know it doesn't really matter where you make these but I would just say Kind of use the ends of that kind of starting chain right there in the middle and I'm just going up from the back side looping it and I'm just gonna continue to do that maybe four times I don't know how many I did on that first one you know you just kind of loop your yarn like this until you decide it looks good or to your own satisfaction. I mean, that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and fasten off this one. Now remember, this is going to be sewn on. So all I do, I just knot these. Knot them well. You could weave it in if you want. You know what? I wouldn't even do that. You don't want to see the yarn through the other side. And then, you know, oops that off and then we'll do it again I don't know if I have enough yarn here I might need a new strand okay so we'll do another one let's see where did I do that about just right about there so same idea just kind of looping this around a couple stitches. All right. You guys definitely get the idea here. So this, this little nostril's taking me longer than I thought. All right. I don't know why that one turned out bigger. You can just kind of Kind of make them, I don't know, pull the yarn a little bit. All right, let's, let's not worry about this anymore. If you don't like the way it looks, you can cut it off, do it again. I'm just going to knot this one. We're going to call it good. <laughs> good enough, good enough for this tutorial, right? You guys get the idea. All right. All right, get out of here, yarn. Um, all right, it looks pretty cute. All right, there was my loose end. Uh, let's go ahead and make the stripe. So again, if you don't um, want to use a fourth color here, I you could go ahead and just use that beige or um, a different color, whatever you want. I am going to grab my white yarn here. And to make the or sorry, what do you call this? The, um, the white stripe. This is the main, this is the stripe. I don't know. Maybe I'm saying those terms for a horse wrong. I hope not. Uh, okay, we are going to chain 10. So I made my slip knot on my hook. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We are going to double crochet in the third chain from hook. So 1, 2, 3. Like that, double crochet. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and Okay, yarn. We're going to go ahead and double crochet in the next three. One, two, and 
three. All right, now we are gonna half double crochet in the next. We are going to single crochet in the next two. And then in the last one, we are going to single crochet, chain one, and make another single crochet. Kind of brings us around, eh. kind of brings us around the corner there. We're gonna go ahead and work on the other side of this chain. Um, we are gonna make a single crochet in the first two. Okay. We're gonna make a half double crochet in the next. Ooh, what happened to my single crochet there? Half double crochet in the next. And double crochet in the remaining. Four and five. Okay, you got your cute little white stripe there. Again, when you clip off your yarn, be sure and leave a nice long strand. Okay. So that's gonna be perfect. And these should, when you stitch them together or onto your square, you're gonna want the nose to just overlap that stripe, white stripe a little bit. Okay, like that. And of course this needs to be woven in as well, but let's move on. So let's make our, um, the little mane hairs. I love these, these are so cute. You could make more or less of them too. So. I have three pieces and they're just different lengths. And the only thing that is different between all the lengths is um, the amount of chains I start with. So I'm gonna do the biggest one and then you'll do the other two pieces on your own. So we're gonna go ahead and make that slip down on my hook and we are going to chain 11. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all right, and then we're gonna make a single crochet in that second chain from hook. Single crochet in the next one. Half double crochet in the next two. And then very easy, we're just gonna double crochet in the remaining. You're gonna do that same pattern for the other two, um, just adjusting the starting chain I have the written pattern again on repeatcrafterme.com. I will leave the link to that and you will see. Fasten this off. How nice that looks. Okay, so we have a little, a little strand of hair there. I've already done the other two. Where are they? Let me bring them into frame here. So you're, we're just gonna overlap these when we stitch them on. I actually already, um, wove in the loose ends on my other two because you really only need one loose end to weave these all together. I just overlap or to stitch them on because I overlap them and then I use the strand to just sew through all of them basically all at the same time there. All right so we got the little mane here. All right so let's go ahead and do the ears. I've already done one so we're gonna do another one on camera together. We are gonna start again with our um, coffee, our darkest brown yarn here. And for the ear, we are gonna go ahead and chain five. So same idea, just making that slip knot on my hook there. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, and then we are gonna single crochet in the second chain from hook. We are gonna half double crochet in the next. And then we are gonna double crochet in those last two chains. All right. Now, we are gonna go ahead and join in. Let me get my strand of yarn over here. We're gonna go ahead and join in this um, cafe latte color. So we are gonna just, all you do is join it in, kind of like with a slip stitch there get the yarn going um, and then we are going to leave that loose end all right we're going to chain one we're gonna turn our work and we're gonna be working around this little piece we just made sorry I hope you guys can see that um, all right 
we are going to single crochet in the first three. One, two, three. We're gonna make two single crochets in the next one. Eek. Sorry guys. One and two, and that kind of brings us around the bend. We're gonna go ahead and single crochet in the last four. Okay, we're gonna chain one, we're gonna turn, and we're going to single crochet in the first three. We're gonna make two single crochets in the next three. One and two, and one and two. That brings us all the way around the top of the ear, and we're gonna single crochet in the last three, and <laughs> you are done. There we go. Off and off. Look how cute that is. So, it, you know, it can either go whichever you prefer. Whichever way it's kind of curling in, I would go with. All right. So just like that. Look at this. So cute. Okay. So really, we have all your pieces. Uh, the only thing we don't have are these safety eyes. Um, if you are uncomfortable with safety eyes, you can stitch your eyes on or you can use buttons or I've saw somebody use, they actually look like safety eyes, but they were buttons. They just had a flat back, um, lots of options. So don't feel like you need to use a safety eye. I just love these. I just got this from Amazon. I love how they labeled these, okay? So I'm actually using the 12 millimeter safety eyes. I'm obsessed with this. You guys have to get this. I'll leave the link. Um, fuzzy in there. So I'm using these ones and they come with the coordinating um, backs. All right. So you're just going to pop those in there. I do it after you kind of stitch everything on. Um, I can leave these out, but you know, up to you or you can stitch some eyes on. Um, all right. So I'm not going to go through all of you know, stitching this together. This could take a while, but um, let's just stitch on. What happened here? Did we not fasten off? Okay, let's move some of this. Obviously, there's a lot to kind of sew together. I know, I know. Um, the backs are going to be covered. I'm thinking about um, putting these back to back, so both sides of our blanket will be um, cute animals. Um, but there's, I'm going to also show some options about. Um, putting a backing on these, either fleece or just a solid crochet backing. We'll get to that later. Right now, let's just focus on making our animal squares. So I guess my point is the back will be messy. So don't worry when you're sewing all these parts down. Yes, yes, yes. The back will look messy. It doesn't matter. We're covering that up. Um, so anyway, um, oh man, I got a lot of pieces. So, you know, I don't know if there's any like special tricks of the trade here, but I think it's best to, to stitch down your um, stripe, your nose, nose stripe first. And you're just gonna do that by taking your loose end. Oh man, I know there's a lot of, ah! <laughs> there's too many ends right now. And you're just gonna sew it. I'm just going through the back and up the front working under uh, the tops of those are right under the tops of those stitches. And this is going to be the same technique. Let's see if I can. I do for all the pieces. It helps to lay everything out. So I'm kind of just laying it down where I want and I'm trying not trying my best not to move it. Um, you could use some pins or stitch markers to hold it in place because last thing you really want to do is go through all this work of stitching it down to have it crooked but I think you guys get the idea so I'm just working under these stitches all right I'm not gonna I'm not gonna finish out that whole thing but you get the idea all right that's gonna be in the back then this is gonna overlap the top so you're gonna take your long strand again your tapestry needle Okay, and you're gonna lay that down how you want it. Again, try and center it. I know there's another loose end there. And then I kind of hold it in place with one hand or however you guys can kind of 
hold it so it's not moving. And I just stitch it on. All right. So this part, I want it to overlap a little bit. So I'm going to work through that. Just like this. So they're kind of connected. I think you guys get the idea of that. I really want to show you the main, which, where'd it go? <laughs> oh, there was too many pieces flying around. This, this. Where's my third one? Oh, darn it. I've done too much now. I've lost it. Oh, here he is. There we go. Okay. Whew. All right. So for this, again, I'm just going to overlap them. The biggest one in the back. Oh, one other thing I should mention, just like our, just like our polar bear, try and avoid um, stitching anything to this um, outer edge because we are going to need that later on to join together our squares and make an even bigger joining border. All right, so I kind of have these all laying down. I know it's hard to see because this yarn is so dark. All right, so I am just working my way really through all three, just in and out. Overlapping the top of the stripe and then I kind of like how they're a little bit loose um, I have another loose on there you can use um, but you know you can come back up and stitch stitch down here or kind of work back up the top a little bit I wouldn't stitch it all down you want it to kind of curl and look look like hair you might want your top one to be stitched down a little more and that's that. And then same with the ear. You're gonna wanna weave everything in on the back side. Yeah, it looks cute. I didn't finish stitching down all this, but you guys get the idea. Okay, where's my ear? Okay, this one. We'll just do one ear. So you only need two loose ends, so I like to keep my colors kind of consistent. Um, again, I want my ear to kind of pop up a little bit. So I'm just going to hold it here, and first I'm going to do the uh, dark brown part with my dark brown loose end. So you won't be able to see what I've woven in here in the middle. Okay, and you're going to weave it through the back. Oh man, there's a lot of loose ends there. All right, and then we're going to take this one, my lighter color, and again, I'm just going to weave back and forth. I don't know why I didn't do the other corner as my example because I hadn't woven those in, ends in yet, but here we are, <laughs> winging it. Okay, so I'm just going over these parts and I'm gonna kind of skip over on through the back side and go to this end. All right. You can do this a couple times to make sure it's really secure, especially on, on the edges. I like to just maybe go in another time. Make sure that's really, oh, well now I lost it, but, and then this needs to be woven in on the back side. And then your ears stick up. Oh, so cute. Oh, I can't stand it. All right, and then when you're done, you'll put in your safety eyes and the safety backs on the back side. And you're gonna have your cute little horrors. I love it. All right, I hope you enjoyed the second uh, square in our Animal Square Crochet Along. Be sure and tag me on uh, social media. And again, I will leave the pattern links, um, which are on my blog, repeatcraftme.com. And I will see you uh, next month for our next Animal Square.